Hey vlog. It's been literally forever. We are in well into February. Um yeah, I don't think I've vlogged much this year, but I just did something huge and I wanted to document how I'm feeling about it. I'm feeling number one, nervous, number two, excited, um, and number three, proud because I just made a huge investment into myself and into the career that I want to go into. Why does it look like I have like, I think that's just, okay, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, I just made an investment. I just uh, booked a flight to Atlanta for next week, next Saturday. Um, I'm literally doing like a turnaround trip and I'm going to do like a one-on-one -on -one coaching to become a real estate investor. And if you know me, then you know that this is something that I've wanted to do for a long, long, long time. And now I'm finally in a position where I'm able to save money and like make bets on myself. So first bet down, many more to go. Um, also, I don't know if I've I don't know if I have shared this, but it is my goal. I've turned 30 this year. So one of my goals for 30 is to buy a property. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's to buy my first property for my birthday. So this is like the step in the right direction to do that. Um, I spent a cute little coin um, on this <laughs> little excursion. I'm basically, yeah, I'm not even going to go into details. It's not crazy, but it's a lot for me. Um, but if I'm going to spend money on anything, it needs to be myself and it needs to be my dreams. And um, I don't know, it just kind of worked out because I was just in L.A. I think I yeah, I did a little footage of that. I was just in L.A. and with family and we had to have like some tough conversations about buying my grandmother's house. And then I get home and one of my good friends she gave me this, she sent me this book, which I knew was coming, but just the fact that it got here when it did. Um, this is the only woman in the room, knowledge and inspiration from 20 women real estate investors. Um, so it just feels like synchronized things are happening. And I asked God to like give me a confirmation if I needed to take this leap. And he gave me the confir confirmation. And then I called my sister and then she's always like the final seal. She's like my wise counsel. So always the final seal called her and child. I booked it, booked my flight, booked my, my coaching session. And your girl is on the road to becoming a real estate investor. So my goal is to become financially free by the time I'm 35. Um, <clears throat> completely financially free like I basically want for my I want to transition from only like living off of my investments basically um and then like taking on projects here and there just because I want to um so yeah that's the goal and since I'm starting I'm about to be 30 it's the perfect time to start like 29 like I'm not playing no games I'm getting my whole life in order you know I'm getting my dating life in order I'm getting my career in order like the last you, shit the last three years have been really really tough and um I always say that God broke my heart so he can fix my vision and he fixed the vision and um the things that I want are completely different than what I wanted before and the reasons that I want them are deeper than than what they were before so I'm just really excited um for what's to come so yeah say hi babe <laughs> She's being so needy. I was gone for five days and she acts like she she has never seen me before. Or like I was gone for a month. But anyway, <clears throat> I just wanted to update you guys on that. And let's, I'm going to take you guys along with me on this journey. That's what I'm going to do. I've been thinking about it for the past like week and I need to just document my life and what I'm doing. And it's more so for me than it is for you guys. But if it's able to help someone out there, then that makes me happy too. So six I am proud of you um once you turn 30 I already know that you're gonna be in a beautiful position because you're taking the risks to set yourself up right now and so for that I adore you and I'm just really really proud and I can't wait for you to continue to make make us proud love you bye hey guys so 
I just went to um I just went to the thrift store to get to get a couple things. I really wanted a green blazer. I don't know why I wanted a green blazer so bad. Um and I was gonna like wake up this morning and go straight there, but I woke up kind of late, so then I was like, let me make it a midday thing, and that was kind of very on brand, um, because I need to start, like, organizing my days a bit better, but the reason I'm, like, bringing all this up is because something just, like, bubbled up in me, so while I was inside the thrift store, I was getting extreme anxiety, and I don't deal with anxiety on a regular basis. I've been I've been dealing with it more and more more recently as I'm like, you know, trying to get over my my mental limitations and the mindsets that don't that don't serve me. And so basically, um I was like, you know, picking things up and everything that I got like I don't have it with me currently. I don't have it at all, actually. But there was this negative voice, which my negative voice, I've told you guys, her name is Gertie. Gertie started being like, well, girl, should you even get that? Like, that's like too much. You're going to end up spending too much. You're going to end up, you know, like, do you need do you need to be accumulating all of these things? And then my, my sound mind was like, well, girl, you can get it. And if you need to throw away later, throw it away later. So what was bubbling up was like, I'm having spiritual, it's like spiritual warfare, right? I'm having spiritual warfare um, in the areas of how I treat myself. So like this, the same thing came up like a couple weeks ago when I like bought this ticket to go to the, um, I bought this like lounge seating ticket to go to a basketball game. And I was having so much buyer's remorse because it was like, why did I just spend that on this game? And like, I ended up going to the game late. It was just a whole thing, right? And so I was feeling very just like remorseful about the whole situation and feeling just like down bad about it. And it's like, you don't have money. So it's like a lot of, a lot of just like scarcity things are bubbling up right now. And I'm excited about it because that means that like, I'm doing the proper work to get over whatever it is. It's like, cause I know that like, I'm meant to be a wealthy woman and wealthy women don't spend scarcely. Wealthy women spend, um, happily <laughs> um they spend because they know they deserve it or because it's something that they want i left the store spending 34 dollars and i got i think four four or five pieces and then this cute little like tote bag which i needed this cute tote bag and all my stuff is in here and i needed a new tote bag i got stuff that i don't currently have um then i was also thinking about stuff that i've bought in the past that i haven't worn yet i was just going through this whole cycle of shit right and so yeah, I just wanted to document this right now because currently I'm dealing with, I have an abundance of money and resources at my disposal right now. And fear from the past is trying to get me to hoard it. But I know that hoarding it is not serving me. Spending it and not even spending it, exchanging it. Um, and putting it back out there so that other people can, it can touch other people's hands. Like retraining my mind. I'm really reprogramming my mind. And um, it's just a beautiful mo moment because I was really just sitting here thinking like, why am I feeling like this? And it's like, because I'm reprogramming. And so if you're a person that's reprogram or reprogramming or trying to reprogram your mind, these are the things that might come up for you. Like you might start to think or feel regretful about purchases that you're trying to make. Like I've been doing a lot of things, like a lot, I've been making a lot of purchases that I feel like our old me would have loved that I made them, but would be scared and I was scared to make them, but I'm continuously doing it so that I can step into the woman that has an abundance of money, that knows how to spend, that is happy and comfortable spending, knowing that what she has right now if it leaves it just comes back tenfold you know so yeah i just wanted to share that and like kind of like talk it out and get it get it out of my system because you know each one teach one your boy got the full body do rag out Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds to win since he slides in both ears. Dice from the non Just a stand in Atlanta, and I am waiting for this like little seminar thing to start. It feels really surreal to be here because I haven't been here in like over 
almost two years um in july it'll be two years so like a year and a half um yeah i'm in like the east end of atlanta and about to get this mini coaching session in um i really don't know what to expect but i'm just excited and i'm proud of myself for making this happen like i literally woke up this morning at 3 45 and i was i felt like i was gonna miss my flight <coughs> um but i made it oh, i'm so proud of me like i really feel like who i'm supposed to be right now like wow 2023 you really coming through oh look at the puppy um okay um i miss babe already man dog mom props okay so yeah stay tuned okay y'all so this is hilarious i was just standing in front of this house and that's not even the house that i'm supposed to be at the fuck so now i'm walking to the other house i'm literally ringing the doorbell and i'm just standing there and i could hear people inside the house and i'm like okay i'm gonna give it like a couple more minutes and i was like hold on let me check my location and child it's a four minute walk down the street they probably was like, who is this bougie girl taking pictures and recording herself in front of this, <laughs> in front of this motherfucking house? Um, and this is like a, this is like one of the areas that's up and coming, not even up and coming. Uh, it's like run down, but it's in the process of being gentrified. So I'm excited to see the house that I'm supposed to get because that house wasn't bad, but um. Shit, I thought I heard something. Um, but yeah. <sighs> Yay to the adventure. <laughs> okay, so this is the house that we're meeting at. Oh. Going to the back. I'm a lover boy. She know the toys. Bell, 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 bell,
her ticket with the competition, what's the word? That on my mama, nigga, eight in the process Nigga tryna take me toe through the progress Tongue tied when the truth is an object What's the pros and the cons of this next check? Wasn't nobody round, I was independent In the 97 bone Okay guys, I had such an amazing day That was literally worth every penny like we literally went around and saw properties like we got to ask so many different questions i got to be in a group with amazing women whose minds are expansive and i'm just feeling on 10 right now and then to be in atlanta i'm about to head to palm city market right now to be in atlanta feels amazing i haven't been here literally like i said before in a year and a half so to be back in this city that I love so much um, just feels really, really amazing. And yeah, I'm about to go get me something to eat. And then um, once I do that, I'm gonna go meet up with my sister and um, have a reunion because I haven't seen her in forever. So today's turning out to be so good. I am so tired. Can't wait to sit my ass down, but I'm grateful nonetheless. So. Both sides, it's a red dot. Don't get on the wrong red eye. It's a headshot. Then it came wooden. I pissed that the flash came on, but it looked good. You glistened, girl. Hey, hey. Parents, I'm old, dear friends. I thought that I told you I need the advance. Put down your IG and look through my lens. A million to grandma. Who did I offend? Me, girl, of your dreams. To me, is a fan. I made it to me. And then they look dance. I'm fucking the world. I am. I had a chance, so then I popped out and did it again and